I like weather days, you know, like <laughs> you just got to get through it one day at a time, one dot at a time. No, I really love John Lee's stories. Great storyteller. I don't know how we tell the story, though, of today's weather. Probably just kind of miserable. You just stay inside, maybe stay watch a movie. And you were just talking about one of your friends in Amarillo. Where does it, how cold does it feel Zero right now? Zero degrees, and she just said, does anybody want to come to Amarillo? It feels like negative 25. Negative 25, and the no. contrast is actually in Dallas-Fort Worth, it's about 40 degrees or so. That's the strength. It's almost... Uh, just a shock wave of cold air moving on in because the temperatures fall so fast. Again, I've been talking about Cheyenne, Wyoming. The temperature dropped 40 degrees in 30 minutes. God, that's incredible. More than a degree and per all, minute. All that's coming this way. All of that is pouring towards us into the Carolinas. Not going to be as intense as what they had to deal with across Wyoming, but it's still... It's going to be intense, and it's why we're concerned about maybe some dangerous wind chill values up in the mountains once we get to your Friday night and heading into your Christmas Eve morning. Satellite and radar, we still got the rain here across Charlotte in the eastern half of the viewing area, but we should start to dry out around 11 o'clock and heading into the afternoon hour. So if you're hitting the roadways from maybe around 2, 3, 4 o'clock today, you will be in much better shape. Up around Charlotte, though, we still got the cold, bringing with temperatures in the upper 30s. It is miserable out there. Many people walking in this morning to the station can attest to that. There's the Arctic front, though. Moving through the center part of the country, you can see the orange. Those are blizzard warnings. Then when you get to the gray color, those are wind chill warnings. Dangerously low wind chills we're expecting all across the lower 48 from Billings all the way towards Boone right here in North Carolina. Check out these wind chill values. In Lincoln, Nebraska, it feels like it's 42 degrees below zero. Look at Oklahoma City and Dallas. The contrast there is 57 degrees in terms of the wind chill values. Just shows you the strength of this cold front. Future cast dry out this afternoon. Not going to deal with nearly the amount of headaches that you're seeing this morning. But then as we get to your Friday morning, there's the Arctic front moving on in temperatures, upper 40s, maybe even in the low 50s into southwesterly winds. But very quickly, this is 545. Watch the temperature just start to fall fall and fall not going to be as ridiculous like we, what we saw in Cheyenne Wyoming but temperatures by lunchtime in the 20s around zero up in the mountains when you talk about wind chill values getting down maybe around 30 degrees below zero Friday night heading into Saturday morning dangerously low wind chills out there so if you are going to be tailgating for the Panthers game please just make sure you're bundled up it will be cold Drying out again this afternoon as we go through today. Temperature is going to be in the mid 40s. It's going to be a chilly day, but at least a little bit better this afternoon compared to the 30s and the wet weather this morning. Five day forecast watching a cold, cold, cold feeling like the North Pole for your Christmas, and then slowly starting to warm up as you head on through next week. You are watching Queen City News, the most local news in the Carolinas, on a gloomy shot of Independence Boulevard. Stay warm and stay dry.